here I'm going to discuss what happens while discharging the weight. Suppose this weight was lying on this tank top and while discharging weight is hanging like this or like this or like this or like this. So when the weight is hanging by the ship's gear, weight acts at the head of the derrick. So it will behave like the weight is shifted at this level, at this level. I can simplify this uh, problem by using these numbers. See here the tank top, it's 2 meter. The ship's uh, head is 22 meter. And the center of gravity of the vessel is uh, 6 meter. Now I can represent uh, this information on this straight line where this is keel, this is 2 meter, this is G and uh, this is head 22 meter. Let's say the weight is uh, 50 ton and the displacement is 10,000 ton. So it will behave as we have shifted this weight from tank top to the derrick head because initially the weight was lying on the tank top. Now weight is hanging by the ship's gear. So weight is acting at the derrick head. So it is a problem that weight is shifted from tank top to the derrick head. So we can easily work out the shift of center of gravity. This is a GG1 is equal to W into D divided by WF where W is the weight and D is the distance shifted and WF is the final. Well, we'll use these numbers. W is the 50 ton which is uh, this one and D is the distance shifted. So distance shifted is from 2 meter to 22 meter from 2 meter here to 22 meter here so distance shift is 20 and WF is the final weight which is uh, it's the same it's not going to change because the weight is still on board ship you can visualize here weight is still on board ship however instead of acting at tank top now weight is acting at the derrick head well so we can find easily new kg and the new kg or kg1 will be kg plus gg1. Here we should note that we need to add this so that the final value is 6.1. So we can say that while discharging the kg will be 6.1. However, we need to understand the second case. Now let us discuss what happens after discharge. So once the weight is discharged, actually weight is discharged from tank top that is uh, at 2 meter from keel. So we can easily work out that after discharge my GG1 again I'll use the same formula that GG1 is equal to W into D divided by WF where WF is final. So let us work out what is WF. Since we have discharged this weight from tank top that is from this level we need to have the final displacement which is W minus W. So the final weight is like this which is 9950 ton. Now let us work out what is the distance D. Actually we discharge from this level and the kg of the ship is 2 meter. In case of uh, discharging the D is kg of the ship and kg of the weight which is 6 meter kg of the ship and kg of the weight is 4 meter. So we get D is equal to 4 meter. Now we need to just put these values that uh, GG1 is equal to 50 into 4 divided by 9950. So we get this value 0 0.020 meter. Well the new kg is going to be kg plus GG1. It makes sense also because we are discharging from the bottom so the top is heavy my G will shift like this GG1 in this direction. So the new kg will be 6 plus uh, 0 0.020 that is 6.020 meter. We should also note that the after the discharge my kg is 6.020 while Discharging in this case the kg was 6.1 which is higher. 